So hello, my people. I am here with another recipe. Okay, so you're wondering why it's already done. I'm taking a picture of the plate. Well, sometimes I can do the um, recipe like right in front of you, showing you in my kitchen. And then sometimes I cannot. So I'm going to have to bring you the bootleg version. And this is the bootleg version. You know, my kids are downstairs eating. So I can't really, you know, a lot of distraction. They watching TV, they talking, they laughing. Um, and um, I was running in and out today, you know, dropping my daughter off at school, getting school supplies, picking up. So I really didn't have time to do it. Plus, my boys were home um, by then. And I record from my cell phone, so I can't, like, stop and start and you know, and all of that. So, um, yeah. So basically this is, um, Chipotle pulled chicken and this is made with chicken thighs. Now you can do it with chicken breasts if you want. It came already seasoned with the Chipotle seasoning on it. But, um, I, I do make the recipes like some things that may, I don't buy too many meats that's pre-seasoned, but this is um, where you can either put it on the grill, the, the, the uh, chicken thighs. What I chose to do, that was the directions, is you put them on the grill and let them cook on the grill. But I make like a sandwich out of it and do like similar to a pulled pork, except for it's a uh, pulled chicken. And I put it in my crock pot and basically let it cook down. But I do add um, my own type of sauce to it. And basically... It's not really a sauce. I just like dump ingredients in the cro in the crock pot. Basically, um, what I put in the crock pot is brown sugar, Worcester sauce. I cut up a shallot, which I saw in my last video. I use shallots like all the time, um, opposed to garlic or onions um, because it's a cross between two, but it gives food um, very good flavor. So I cut up a shallot. I use um, brown sugar, ketchup, just a tad bit of hot sauce because this chipotle is already spicy. Um, what else did I? Worcester sauce I put in there. Um, I cut up a lemon, a fresh lemon, and I squeezed um, some lemon juice in there. And um, I put some garlic powder, pepper, and uh, that was it. And then I just stirred it up and I let it cook down on high for probably about four hours. And then I shredded it, shredded up the chicken thighs um, because they're whole boneless, skinless chicken thighs. So I shredded up the meat and um, let it cook on low for about another two hours um, just to keep it warm. And um, I did add some more brown sugar to it. And what else did I, I think that was it? I just, so I just added some more brown sugar to it uh, once I shredded it up and turned it on low. Then, um, so this is the brown, you know, that's the shredded chicken thighs. As I said, you can use breast. Now, if I was to use plain chicken breast or chicken thighs, I would basically do a barbecue sauce with this and I do make my own barbecue sauce but I will not be giving out that recipe some recipes especially for my sauces I do not share with anybody so but and I this is homemade coleslaw I make well actually I buy the coleslaw mix but I do make the creamy sauce for my coleslaw and basically it's just mayonnaise uh, I put black pepper some um, kosher salt just a little bit and um, you can use white vinegar but I choose to use apple cider vinegar and brown sugar and this way it's not so drippy you know and loose you don't have all of the liquid in it um, but if you and it's still creamy um, sometimes I do all of that and I put a little milk in it but um, I didn't put any milk in this and I just toasted my bun and this is you know my bun it's a very large bun and I put it on top and this is my um and then we had it with a salad 
you know, my I don't want a salad. I just want the sandwich, but my kids had it with a salad. So, um, yeah, basically this is my um, Chipotle pulled chicken sandwich with uh, coleslaw on the roll. So um, if there's any questions, please, you know, leave them in the comment box. But, you know, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please leave your comments in the box below. Again, don't forget to share the video on Google+. Plus. Um, give me a thumbs up. And y'all know, peace.